guys, I'm gonna sh in this video I'll show you how to get the 75G achievement, no one escapes alive, or execute this escape plan. First, you got to, first thing you do is get that part from that little container. You will need the warden's key, you should, you should know where it is. And then just simply place it on. Now on this, it did glitch up on my, because I was doing it on theater mode and it doesn't actually appear on the screen. But when you go into thingy, You've got to turn the power on for the um, for the um, tumble driving. So, bit glitchy here. And then um, yeah, I'm using um, Afterlife. And turn the tumble drive on, but it's sort of glitched out when things. It is meant to be shut when you when you should do it. And then after a while, you should like go mental. Like crazy, and then finish, and then you can pick it up and place it on the plane. Ah, this one is a bit tricky to get when you're doing it on multiplayer. It's easier to do it on single player, but if you want to do it on multiplayer, go ahead. I may felt a bit like why did it? he didn't believe me how he did this, but I told him, and eventually he did it. And then what you do is you turn, go into afterlife, one of you needs to be in afterlife and the other hand needs to look, just be shooting zombies for a second and then when you turn the power on the door switches and then there's a bit part there but because it was glitching out it didn't appear and then and then you can come back out make sure the door is um, open so you can get out and then place it on the plane like so go to the power bit and then kill, I'm going to afterlife, make sure you have got an afterlife and not kill yourself. Right, and then on the way down you'll see numbers. They're always different, just, just see. You don't want to just try and put those numbers down because it won't work. They're always different and ev like shock it ev for every number, how many numbers it is. It's quite easy. And then it'll come down. Right, now go, I wish I could go in this direction. And then through that door, and then there should be like a little door there. What you can open once it's gone down. It won't open when you've not done it. Of course, it's glitched out and it went. It didn't appear. And then go to the plane and apply it. And then, ta-da! That's like the wait bit, so it makes it looks more like a plane now. And the last bit is the warden's office. When you do this, when you first go there, and you shouldn't get, you shouldn't go to the docks beforehand. It would like have electric a thing around it. Because it's got, it's like an electric fence. It's got things around it. But you need to go into afterlife and turn off the three generators power in that electric. It's, it's one there, and then that won't be us. Of a mineral, don't ask why. And then do that one also in a wall, and then there is another one there. I don't know if they change positions there. And then is should and then go into the afterlife, open the door for it because it's not open. It's just up there and then through that one. And there should be a little thing there. And then shock it. And then it's it should be open. And then and now you can open the door and then you've got the final piece for the plane. And then just apply it to the plane. And you press like generators on it so you can fly. To get on it, you just have to hold X and then it puts you on it. It does it when it's the X is on the screen. Then finally, it'll take off. And then when you land, you'll get the 35G achievement. And um, the pack punches over here.